Okay, so the first question says, one number is 25% of 500. So the topic you want to review for this math problem is percentages. So to solve this problem, um, you're going to do 25 percent means divided by 100. And off means multiplication by 100. So now you just want to simplify it or just put it in the calculator straight. Um, so we're going to remove the zeros. And now we do 25 divided by 5. Sorry, I meant 25 multiplied by 5, which is uh, 125 when you put it in the calculator. So that's our answer. Very easy. So remember, percent means divided by 100 and off means multiplied. And that's it. So the next question is says uh, to solve the expression, we have this. And it says when A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 5. So it's very, very simple. You just replace the A with 2 and the B with 5. So you have 3 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 5 plus 8. So you do 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 plus 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 plus 8. So now you add this up. 16 plus 8, 24. That's it. Very easy. The next question is about fractions. So this is mixed fractions right here. So to solve this problem, you take the denominator and you multiply it by the bigger number and then you add it. So it's very simple. So we're just going to do the same thing here. So 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 plus 1. Five. and you're gonna use the same denominator plus the same goes here you multiply the this and then you add this so 15 plus 2 is 17 same denominator which is 3 and now here you need to know how to uh, solve fraction problems such as addition so what we do is called the uh, butterfly method so we multiply across and then we multiply um, across here for denominator. So 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 plus 17 multiplied by 2 is 34. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So now you add this, which will be 49 divided by 6. That's if you want it in decimals, just put this in the calculator and you will get it in decimals. But we're just going to leave it as a fraction since it's a fraction problem. So the next problem is about conversions. You need to know all your conversions. I have a good video on that and all the conversions you need to learn for the HESI math portion. So for this, uh, it says how many milliliters are in five liters? So for this, you need to know the conversion that uh, one liter has 1,000 milliliters. So in five liters, how much mLs do you have is the question, right? So you just multiply across 5,000 multiplied by 1x, which is x. So your answer is 5,000 milliliters. So this question is about um, military time and regular time. You, sh you have to know how to convert between both of them. So for example, this question says, what's this, this in regular time, right? So um, the trick that I have for this is that whatever um, military time you have, you subtract the, obviously the hours, you subtract it from 12. So you're gonna do 15 minus 12, which is three. So it will be 3.17 p.m. That's the time. So this is ratio and proportion. So we have these numbers. So what we do is nine is e into 14. And the other one is x is into six. So again, you just multiply across nine multiplied by six is um 
54 equal to 14 multiplied by x so x stays and then 54 gets divided by 14 which you use a calculator and it's 3.85 that's it okay the next one is word problems and again i have videos on that i will be posting all the links down below and it also has equations and ratio and proportion it's a very easy uh, question so it says to make a cake three eggs are needed for every pound how many pounds will be needed with 40 eggs so we separate everything into one section so we have eggs and we have pound so we need three eggs for one pound and how many pounds so that's our x will be needed with 40 eggs so um again cross multiply once you have everything set you just cross multiply and use ratio and proportions basics so 3 multiplied by x is equal to 1 multiplied by 40, which is 40. And then um, x stays here and 40 gets divided by 3, which is 40 divided by 3, 13.33, which eggs cannot be 13.33 so um it would be 13 eggs that's your answer so the next one says what fraction is equivalent to 0 0.75 remember that hesi is multiple choice questions so for this one i'm just gonna use uh i'm what i would do i would put every number in the calculator like every fraction divided and see which one gives me 0 0.75 so you should know how to convert decimals to fractions fractions to decimals so I'm gonna show you so you do 7 divided by 8 0 0.875 that's not the answer 5 divided by 8 0 0.625 nope and you do this and that's the answer so that's one trick that you would use just because remember you have a calculator use it for this question we need to solve for x and we need to know how to solve equations so we have this one right here so i'm just going to copy it right here um so what you do is x stays alone right remember letters in one side and on the other side numbers or like any side but you just group them according to that so x stays here 932 stays here the number will go the other side and because there's a plus sign that you don't see because it's positive it will go reverse so it will be negative subtraction so 932 minus 362 will be 570 your answer